Welcome to Control and Workload Automation video series on Control and Manage File Transfer Enterprise 9.0.20 architecture for high availability. This is the second part of the video solution series focusing on Control and Manage File Transfer Enterprise architecture. Link to the first part of the video series can be found in the description. One of the new features that has been added in Manage File Transfer Enterprise version 9.0.20 is the ability to enable high availability in the environment by adding additional MFT hubs and gateways. Let's take a look at the prerequisite to enable high availability in an MFT enterprise environment. As HA was only added in 9.0.20, all your controlling components, including EM server, control server, and control agent needs to be on 9.0.20 or later. You can only create one MFT Enterprise HA cluster per EM server. All control agents that are part of the MFT Enterprise HA cluster needs to be on the same platform, either Windows or Linux, and they all need to have the same control agent version. You will also need to create a host group and add all the control agents involved in this MFT Enterprise HA cluster to this H, uh, host group. In terms of number of MFT hubs and gateways, our recommendation is to have at least three hubs and two gateways. MFT gateways can only be installed on a Linux server, and MFT Enterprise HA is an active, active cluster. On top of all the ports used in a standalone MFT Enterprise environment, as you've seen in the part one of the video series, in an MFT Enterprise HA environment, ports 3180 to 3183 must be opened between all the MFT hub nodes for data synchronization, which is managed by Zookeeper. All MFT hubs should have a common shared network drive, and all the hubs in the HA cluster should have read write access to those shared drive because FTS home and B2B home directories will be on those network drive. Let's take a look at this example MFT Enterprise environment that consists of three MFT hubs and two gateways. External users will connect through a reverse proxy or a load balancer such as F5 provided by your infrastructure team that balances between the three MFT gateways which sits in the DMC network. Each gateway is aware of all the hubs in the MFT Enterprise HA cluster and each hub is aware of all the gateways. Each hub is also aware of all the other hubs in the cluster as well. Gateways are not aware of each other and a load balancing between the gateways, are, as mentioned before, is done through a load balancer managed by your IT. Zookeeper is used to synchronize configuration data between each hubs and you'll notice a Zookeeper process that's running on each of the hubs in the cluster. Zookeeper uses a leader follower architecture. So in each MFT Enterprise HA environment, one of the MFT hubs will act as a Zookeeper leader node and the others will act as the follower nodes. Zookeeper requires port 3180 to port 3183 to be open between each hub for its own communication and data synchronization. In MFT Enterprise HA mode, there must be a majority Zookeeper servers running to allow synchronization. For example, if you have three hubs in your Enterprise HA cluster, out of that three, at least two must be running to have synchronization. If you have five, then you must have at least three of them running and so on. Without the synchronization between the hubs, an administrator won't be able to create new users, define virtual folders, rules, or groups. An external user who is performing a file transfer, they will not face any issues uh, as long as there's at least one MFT hub available. But as mentioned before, an administrator won't be able to make the changes without majority of the MFT hubs available. You will need to also have a shared drive that, that is accessible by all MFT hub nodes, um, which will act as a file repository for FTS home and B2B home, where all the files that are transferred will be safe. 
Here are the default ports used in the MFT Enterprise environment starting in 9.0.20. Hub uses port 7443 to communicate with Gateway on port 9443 by default. With high availability, these ports must be open from all the gateways to all the MFT hubs in the cluster. MFT Enterprise configuration has been moved to web in 9.0.20 as mentioned in the part one of the video series. High availability administration, including adding more um, hubs to activate HA and uh, adding gateways are done through this configuration page under the environment section. You can also access hub settings and gateway settings through the settings button where default values, including ports, B2B home path, etc., can be changed. You can access this page from the Control and Configuration Manager or CCM or through Control and Web. This concludes the second part of the Control and Manage File Transfer Enterprise video solution series. Please visit our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.